Data video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use meshes to warp a symbol design. And now this one's a symbol design that uh, I've just got here from the symbols panel. You can't see the symbols panel, symbols there. Now, obviously, graphic extras, you've got lots and lots of symbols. You can also find many on the web, as well as obviously that come with Illustrator. Now, first thing to do, just go up, select the actual design, and then go to Object and Envelope Distort and make with mesh. Select that. Now, you can set these number of rows. You can actually put preview on. It's not a sticky preview, unfortunately. Don't know why it always never is in uh, Illustrator. Wish it was, but anyway. So you can make a more complex mesh, or you can just go for one by one, which is reasonable as well. Depends what you want to achieve. So you've got the mesh there. Go over here to Direct Selection Tool, and then just basically walk design in numerous ways. Let's modify that and so on, so on. Once you're happy with the design, you can, of course, just go over here to symbols and new symbol, save it. But say you want to change it when you've done that design and you think, right, well, I don't actually want that, but I want the, the actual warp still. I'm perfectly happy with the warp. What you can do then is while you've got that selected object, envelope, envelope, distort, edit contents. Now, while you've got that selected, you can just go up here, replace, or go on the right side there. There's an option for replace symbol. Well, if you select one, so I'm just going to select that one and then replace symbol. You can select obviously any of the other ones and replace symbol again. But you can also do it up here, so you can actually it's quicker probably just to go up this side. So you just click on there and run through all the, and these are obviously all sort of zoom designs, but they're all modified by the design. The actual mesh, right? Click through all those. Now, once you're happy with that, you can go back to Object and Envelope Distort, Edit Envelope, and you can then continue just by direct there and just modify it maybe a little bit more. And again, let's say like save it to the symbols or maybe save it to the CC library for future use. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.